Welcome, welcome, and thank you for stopping by. It is a beautiful day today. Happy Memorial Day weekend. Today I'm going to just share a quick video with you. I'm making a chocolate vegan cake, except I'm not going to make it so vegan today. It's a, I'm going to use the recipe. The only thing I'm not going to do is use the um, coconut oil uh, for this recipe. I'm just going to go ahead. Look, this cake tastes just like any other chocolate cake. As a matter of fact, it tastes a little bit better than a regular chocolate cake. Um, the difference between vegan and a regular chocolate cake is they don't use egg in a vegan cake and they don't use butter. Um, and this is a really easy cake. All you, and I'm going to show in the video what items you are going to need to use. So thank you for clicking. Hey, please do give me a thumbs up. Look for me over on How Did Mom Cook It on Facebook. It's called How Did Mom Cook It, etc. Um, so let's just get right into the video. And I think that's all I want to tell you guys. So I will see you at the end. God bless. Oh, it didn't stop. Let's just stop it here. For this recipe, you're going to need two cups of sugar. Or you can use demerara sugar. This is uh, the demerara sugar. You're going to need one cup of cocoa, two teaspoons of espresso, two teaspoons of baking soda, one half cup of vegetable oil, or you can use the coconut oil if you're going to make it vegan. I decided I'm not going to make it vegan, but this is a vegan recipe one tablespoon of vinegar, two cups of flour, and two cups of boiled water, which I am boiling now. I decided to make this cake for my husband. It is a great vegan recipe. The thing is, it doesn't taste vegan at all. It tastes like a delicious chocolate cake. Let's get started. So let's just get started. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and pour my sugar I'm going to add my two cups of hot water. I'm going to add the oil. And now I'm going to add the vinegar. I'm going to whisk it together. I'm doing just like the recipe reads. And the video I saw on Facebook. I think it's called chocolate. Um, so you do that. Just mix all your wet ingredients. When the batter is smooth. Okay. So then I'm going to go ahead and add. As long as it, you mix everything up. Okay. As long as you mix it all up, okay? You just want to get the ingredients in. The chocolate ex the espresso adds the chocolate flavor to the cake batter. I made this before. My husband loves it. He's having a few friends over today, so that's why I'm making a chocolate cake. Chocolate cake is my least favorite cake, but I make a good chocolate cake. So I found this recipe, and I'm giving... I think it's called chocolate hits. I'm almost certain that that's what it's called. She makes a lot of different vegan cakes and stuff. So once you have all that together, and the other thing is you can use, um, what is it? I'm sorry, I'm trying to think. You can use two pans, two eight inch or two nine inch. I would use two nine inch pans. That's what I've done before. If you look back on any of my videos or um, I used a two nine inch, but for this one today, I'm going to use the bunt pan. So instead of cooking it for 30 to 45 minutes, I'm going to cook it for about an hour or something until it's done. Usually an hour and 15 minutes. I don't know with this particular cake. So I'm just going to bake it at 350 and see how it comes out. All you want to do is get all your ingredients together. 
Now, normally for vegan, the only thing I didn't use is the vegan oil. Let me just pull out the recipe right here. Uh, you would need, instead of, you can use raw granulated sugar, which is what I just used, or browned, or regular sugar. You can use, um, for the vegan, you use coconut oil. So all I'm doing is not using the coconut oil and um, the, I think that's the only thing I'm not using for this part. Other than that, like I said, this take cake tastes very normal, good chocolate. I would say it tastes better than a regular chocolate cake. So once you have everything mixed together, then you just pour it into your bunt pan or your two cake pan. And because I have other things to do today, I'm going to just, I would make my own glaze, but I'm probably just going to use some Hershey's chocolate glaze for this cake today. You can make it however you want to. I will leave the recipe for this in the description box, comment, and you can make it yourself. But this is an easy, easy, I'll say the best recipe, chocolate cake recipe I ever used. Okay, so that's it. And then we're just going to pour this into the bunt pan. As you can see, it is mixed beautifully. No need to over mix. I'm going to put it in the oven and you'll see me in just a moment. Thank you for joining me today. Did I say welcome? Welcome and thank you for joining me today on this short video. I appreciate your time. I try to do things quickly, so have everything ready and then get it out the way. I have other things to do today, so I'm just gonna keep it moving. Thank you to all of my new subscribers. We finally made it. I'm so excited um, and looking forward to bring you guys new content. See you in a second. Now, as I said, I am not going to use make my own icing or glaze today. I'm just gonna use Hershey's chocolate. It came out really small, but that's okay because it's just a blunt cake and it's, um, it's just a blunt cake. Now, because my cakes, I, I don't know if I showed it with, share it with you, but they have been coming out sticking to the pan. And this is my one of my favorite pans. And as you can see, even though I use plenty of butter and plenty of flour, it still did the same thing. It still captured some of my cake. So that's okay. That's okay today. Again, you're supposed to, you could use only, you know, two eight inch circle pans. Sorry, I'm trying to get it in the center. But you see the flour on it, that's quite all right. Um, so we're gonna take care of that by using the glaze. Give me a second. Because I am so busy, I'm trying to do, get this out the way and then make calico beans that I'm gonna put in the oven. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned because that's coming up right after this video. And I know I'm dropping a lot of videos, but that's because I'm back home and this is where I love to be. I love to be in the kitchen. I love trying new recipes and show my gonna keep it real with you. Sharing things that you may or may not know. Helping you do things you may want to try and sharing how easy it is. So this is it. Isn't that pretty? I don't know what's been going on with the cake. I stopped using Baker's Joy because it stopped bringing me joy. Um, I'm just gonna add a little bit more chocolate glaze to it. And that is it. Simple and easy. No fuss, no muss. No hassle today. My husband's favorite cake is chocolate, so. There you have it. I'm going to cover the rest of that. As a matter of fact, I'm going to pause and get some more glaze. I am back and this is what I was, this is what I am using 
for my chocolate cake today. Just using a little bit of Hershey's by Betty Crocker. It's okay, you don't have to always make everything. Um, you know, you can use what's, you know, store-bought if you want to. I often make my own, but today is just one of them days I don't feel like fussing with the confectionate sugar and stuff. Um, that's just going to take me a little bit longer and I want to do this quickly because at four o'clock we have, he has guests coming over. So I'm just making this for my husband and his guests. And men don't really care. Not all of them anyway. They can't tell if I made it or not, right? So I think that's looking better. What do you think? I think that looks delicious. Covers up where the flour is still on the cake and that's it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to watch or look for the calico beans, which I'll be putting in the oven in just a few moments. Um, and you'll see me on the next video. God bless.